This figure shows a circle and a rectangle inscribed in a square. If the sides of the rectangle are 12 and 6 units, find the radius of the circle. To solve this problem, first let O be the center of the circle. Let's label this point A, B, and C. Next, let's draw a radius from A to O. And another radius from B to O. Observe that line OA and OB are perpendicular lines. Reason. From the circle theorem of tangent and radius which states that the angle between a tangent and radius is 90 degrees. Next, let's draw another radius from C to O. Let the radius of the circle be X. Next, let's draw a perpendicular line from C to line OB. Let this point be D. Now, observe that we have a right triangle CDO. With DO equal to X minus 12. CD equal to X minus 6. And CO equal to X. Going further, let's focus on triangle CDO. Since triangle CDO is a right triangle. From Pythagoras' theorem. X squared is equal to X minus 6 squared plus x minus 12 squared. Simplifying this will give us x squared is equal to x squared minus 12x plus 36 plus x squared minus 24x plus 144. x squared will cancel out. And we are left with 0 is equal to minus 12x plus 36 plus x squared minus 24x plus 144. Collecting the like terms will give us x squared minus 12x minus 24x plus 36 plus 144 is equal to 0. And this will give us x squared minus 36x plus 180 is equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation. Going further, we are going to factorize this equation. To factorize this equation, first, we multiply the first term and the third term of this equation. Doing so will give us 180x squared. Next, we find the factors of 180x squared that when added together will give us minus 36x. That is the second term of this equation. These factors are, minus 6x, and minus 30x. Next, we replace minus 36x, with minus 6x, and minus 30x. So that we will have, x squared, minus 6x, minus 30x, plus 180, is equal to 0. Next, we factor out. From the first bracket, x will factor out to leave us with x minus 6. From the second bracket, 30 will factor out to leave us with x minus 6, which is equal to 0. Note that, these two brackets must be the same. Hence, we can say that x minus 6, times x minus 30, is equal to 0. If x minus 6, times x, minus 30, is equal to 0. It follows that, x minus 6, is equal to 0. Or, x minus 30, is equal to 0. If x, minus 6, is equal to 0, then x is equal to 6. And if x minus 30, is equal to 0, then x, is equal to 30. Since the radius of the circle must be greater than 6 units, then the radius of the circle is equal to 30 units. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.